Welcome to the Berkeley International Office F1 Guide to Curricular Practical Training. This tutorial will help you prepare for off-campus employment opportunities and internships while you're studying towards your degree. Curricular Practical Training is an F1 student employment benefit, is approved by Berkeley International Office on a semester-by-semester -semester basis after you have completed two consecutive full-time semesters, allows you to do paid or unpaid work off campus while you engage in full-time study for your degree, and it is not automatic. You do have to apply for it. The purpose of CPT is for you to gain practical experience related to your studies at Berkeley, so the job must be in your major field of study. Remember that as an F1 student, you always need employment authorization before beginning off-campus work. Beginning off-campus employment without authorization is a serious violation of F1 status and will lead to unlawful presence, including possible bars from the U.S. of three to ten years. You are eligible for CPT if you are an F1 student at UC Berkeley, graduate or undergraduate, you are still studying towards your degree so you have not yet graduated, you have finished two consecutive full-time semesters, and you're going to be engaged in off-campus work that is directly related to your major. Please note that master's and PhD students who are on filing fee are not eligible for CPT. If you're unsure if you meet any of these eligibility requirements, please speak with a bio advisor. Otherwise, you're ready to apply for CPT. Obtaining CPT is a multi-step process. To start, secure a job or internship offer related to your field of study. Begin bio CPT application form. You must meet with your academic or major department advisor as they will help you complete the form. For the course, most students will need to enroll in an internship or field studies course. You then submit your CPT application to bio and it takes three business days to authorize your CPT. Finally, you pick up your new CPT I-20 from bio before beginning employment. Your authorization cannot be backdated. Now let's discuss each step in more detail. Start by securing an appropriate internship or job. Begin looking for work early and use your resources. The UC Berkeley Career Center can help you begin your search. Visit their website for general job hunting information. They also have web resources specifically for international students. Networking is also important and the International Student Networking Group on LinkedIn may be helpful. Remember, your internship must be related to your field of study. Positions must be appropriate to your level of study and major field of study. Retail sales, food service, and other unskilled positions will be denied. When looking for a job, make sure you communicate clearly with your employer about your start date as well. CPT requests cannot be expedited, so set reasonable expectations. Once you have a job offer, your employer will need to provide our office with information about your job. We need all of the information and text listed on the letter. If any of the information or text is missing, we will not be able to process your CPT application. The next step is to begin bio CPT application form. The form is available in person at bio or on our website. Complete the top section of the form with your student information. Then you complete the next section of the form with your employment information. Indicate whether you are applying for part-time CPT 20 hours or less per week, or full-time CPT with more than 20 hours per week. Also indicate your expected start date, which cannot be earlier than the start of the semester. Again, the start date must be in the future. It cannot be backdated. Indicate the requested end date, which should not be later than the date of the semester's final exam. Please note that your requested dates must match the dates on your employment verification letter. And remember, you must apply at least five business days before you intend to begin work. If your application is incomplete, your employment start date will be delayed be sure your employer understands that you cannot begin work until authorized. Let's review the earliest and latest start dates for CPT authorization for each semester. For the fall semester, you can begin as early as the first day of instruction in August and end as late as the last day of finals in December. For the spring semester, you can begin as early as the first day of instruction in January and end as late as the last day of finals in May. 
you must submit a new CPT application for each semester you intend to work. Your work permission is only good for one semester at a time because it's concurrent with your course enrollment. It is possible to use CPT to work full-time during winter break if it is academically necessary. Requests for full-time CPT during winter break must be an extension of CPT from the fall semester or an early start to CPT in the spring semester. For example, you can extend your fall CPT authorization through January or begin your spring CPT as early as the day after the fall semester ends. If you're aware that your CPT projects will require a start or end date before or after the semester dates, your CPT application must include a statement from your academic advisor saying that it's academically necessary to work work during winter break. If you need an extension of the existing CPT, you'll need to submit a new CPT application including amended dates and an advisor explanation if the dates are before or after the semester start date. You can also have CPT during the summer. CPT requires credit enrollment and appropriate coursework. You may need a course code from your academic advisor during summer enrollment, and you will have to pay for the course unit enrollment. Summer CPT dates are not tied to the particular session you enroll in, A through E. Your summer CPT can begin as early as the day after the last spring final. If summer is your final semester and you're graduating, you can only continue as late as the last day of summer session E. But if you're continuing in the fall, you may work full time until the day before fall instruction begins. For students who are graduating in summer and using CPT in their final semester, please be aware. You can only work part time, which is 20 hours per week or less. You must be enrolled in a course or courses in addition to your CPT course. The other courses should count towards your degree completion, and you must be on the summer degree list. Please consult a bioadvisor if you have any questions about this. How many hours can you work? During the fall and spring semester, students are authorized only for part-time employment of 20 hours per week or less. Graduate students who have advanced to candidacy are eligible for full-time employment that is integral to their degree program during the semester. During the summer, students who will be continuing in the fall may work full-time. But as mentioned before, if you're completing your degree in the summer, you can only work part-time. Now that you know your hours, you're ready to request approval from your academic advisor. There are two CPT authorization types. Most students need course credit for CPT. You will enroll in a course that requires employment to earn a passing grade. Some students will have a degree requirement, meaning that every student in the program must complete the internship to graduate. If your internship fulfills a degree requirement, no course enrollment may be required, but you will still need CPT authorization. You can find a list of degrees on our website, and if your program is not on the list, then you do not qualify. For degree requirement and course credit CPT, your CPT form must be completed by your major advisor, unless you're enrolled in Berkeley Global Internships or the Career Center Independent U.S. Internship. You'll need to work with your major advisor to become enrolled in the appropriate course. If you're applying for course credit CPT, you must be enrolled for course credit in your major department. If course credit is not available in your major department, your major or undeclared intended major advisor must complete the CPT form and provide additional explanation in the academic advisor's recommendation section of the form. You may need to obtain a course control number to enroll in an independent study course. If you have declared a major, then your major department must complete your CPT form. If you're a double major, then it should be whichever department has enrolled you in the CPT course and that is more closely related to the work that you'll be doing. Keep in mind that BIO does not have any requirements for the number of units for the CPT course. This is determined by your department or academic advisor. If your major is undeclared, you do still need an academic advisor to endorse your internship. Your CPT sponsor must be with your intended major, but not all departments will approve internships for undeclared students. If you're pursuing an internship in the summer, you could enroll in one of the summer internship courses offered by the Career Center or Berkeley Global Internships. 
Your academic advisor will also determine what academic requirements you will be completing and how the job is related to your major. You'll need to explain exactly what academic work you're doing to earn the course credit. In some departments, the academic requirements for the course are determined by the instructor of the course. You may need to obtain a copy of your course academic requirements and your job offer letter to share with your academic advisor. The employer letter and job description can help your advisor to understand and confirm the relation to your major. Sample forms and answers are on the BioCPT website. Once you've identified the CPT course with your advisor, enroll in the course. Print a copy of your Cal Central enrollment screen showing that you are enrolled in the course, unless it is degree requirement CPT. Here's an example where a student enrolled in Econ 299, a supervised independent study and research course. The next step is to get bio approval. Submit your completed form, Cal Central enrollment printout, and the CPT verification letter to bio, in person or by email. Processing will take five business days, expedites are not available, and incomplete applications would be delayed or denied. After five business days, you can pick up your new I-20. Your CPT employment authorization will be on the second page of the document. Take a closer look and verify. The employment status and type, which should be CPT, the dates you can work, and the location you will work. As you can see, you are only authorized to work one place and for a specific amount of time. The document also notes that you will be earning credits for the internship. When you have your I-20 in hand and your employment start date arrives, you may begin working. Once you have your I-20, you can also apply for a Social Security number, or SSN. An SSN is not work authorization. It's just a number used for identification and tax purposes. Don't apply for your card more than 30 days in advance of your CPT. More information about the application can be found on the BIO website. Some final takeaways. You always need to request off-campus employment authorization before you begin employment. You must submit a CPT application for each semester you work, even if you are extending your CPT. And you must be enrolled in a course in the same semester that you are working. And finally, there are a few things to keep in mind regarding CPT. Immigration regulations state that you may do only up to 12 months of full-time CPT if you want to be eligible for OPT work authorization after graduation. There is no limit on part-time CPT. However, there has been more scrutiny of high CPT usage in general, so make sure you keep careful records of your employment. And come and speak with a bioadvisor if you have any questions or concerns. And if you have further questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or email us or stop by our advising hours listed here. Thank you.